An optical current transformer OCT is a type of transformer used to measure current. It operates based on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which produces a voltage proportional to the current in a conductor. The OCT consists of a coil of wire wrapped around a core of magnetic material. When a certain amount of current flows through the coil, it produces a magnetic field that induces a voltage in the core. This voltage is then amplified and measured by the current flowing through the conductor. The OCT uses a light-emitting diode LED and a photodetector to detect magnetic flux changes. The LED emits a beam of light that is focused on the photodetector. The photodetector converts the light into an electrical signal proportional to the change in magnetic flux. OCTs are used in various applications where electrical isolation is required or where it is difficult or impossible to use a conventional current transformer. They can measure current in high-voltage applications, such as power transmission lines, where conventional current transformers would be impractical or dangerous to use. OCTs can also be used in sensitive electronic applications, such as data centers, where electrical noise can interfere with sensitive equipment. They are typically more accurate than conventional current transformers and can be used to measure current in both AC and DC applications. OCTs are also smaller and lighter than traditional current transformers, making them easier to install and handle. They are often used in power systems to measure the currents flowing through high-voltage transmission lines. Let's talk about Optical Current Transformer Working Principle. Optical current transformers OCTs and fiber optic current sensors FOCS work on the principle of the Faraday effect. The Faraday effect is the rotation of the polarization state of light, beta, when it passes through a magnetic field, B, induced by an electrical current. The larger the electric current, the greater the magnetic field and hence the larger the polarization rotation. This allows the OCT to measure the current in a conductor. So basic principle of fiber optic current sensors and optical current transformers is to measure polarization rotation due to the Faraday effect. The Faraday effect is the rotation of the polarization state of light, beta, when it passes through a magnetic field, B, induced by an electrical current. The larger the electric current, the greater the magnetic field and hence the larger the polarization rotation. OCTs offer significant advantages over traditional current sensing technologies, they are naturally decoupled from the voltage line, have minimal electrical interference on the signal line, offer extremely fast response times with high measurement accuracy, and are safer as they do not explode during catastrophic failure. The OCT uses a light-emitting diode LED and a photodetector to detect these magnetic flux changes. FiberCore has developed a range of optical fibers designed specifically for use in FOCS. This includes sensor element fibers and supporting component fibers for various deployments. The OCTs and FOCS is told work on the principle of the Faraday effect, which is the rotation of the polarization state of light, beta, when it passes through a magnetic field, B, induced by an electrical current. The larger the electric current, the greater the magnetic field, and hence the larger the polarization rotation. This allows the OCT to measure the current in a conductor. The OCT uses a light-emitting diode LED and a photodetector to detect these magnetic flux changes. FiberCore has developed a range of optical fibers designed specifically for use in FOCS. This includes sensor element fibers spun high by and spun low by fibers, as well as supporting component fibers such as Zinc Polarizing Fibers HBZ, Standard PM Fiber HB, Telecom's PM Fiber HBT, and PM Euro Fiber HBG for delay coils and quarter wave plates. The fibers can be used in various deployments from simplistic low sensitivity, low accuracy, spun low by systems through to high sensitivity, high accuracy, circularly polarized, spun high by systems. Historically, Aposia's system manufacturers attempted to manufacture current sensors using standard telecoms fibers. However, the inherent random birefringence within these fibers causes significant limitations on the sensing accuracy. Techniques were developed to twist the fibers, which ultimately created mechanical failure when the fibers were exposed to rapid thermal changes due to the torsional forces exerted on the fiber. Alternative methods of stripping the coating off the fiber and annealing the bare glass were developed. Nevertheless, due to the difficulty of stripping long lengths of coatings, poor yields and short lengths were fundamental limitations to this technique. 
Subsequently, spun fibers were invented where the fiber is spun during the fiber drawing stage. This creates a rotation along the length of the fiber which is locked into the fiber with no torsional force. This advancement has significantly improved the accuracy and reliability of FOCS and OCTs. Now let's talk about optical current transformers advantages over traditional current transformers. Electrical isolation. OCTs provide electrical isolation, which is beneficial in high voltage applications where conventional current transformers would be impractical or dangerous to use. High accuracy. OCT OCTs are typically more accurate than conventional current transformers and can measure current in both AC and DC applications. Compact size. OCTs are smaller and lighter than traditional current transformers, making them easier to install and handle. Noise immunity. OCTs can be used in sensitive electronic applications, such as data centers, where electrical noise can interfere with sensitive equipment. Versatility. They are often used in power systems to measure the currents flowing through high voltage transmission lines. These advantages make OCTs a preferred choice for many applications in the power industry and other sectors where precise current measurement is required. Optical current transformers OCTs, while advantageous in many ways, do have some limitations also. Magnetic field interference. If the magnetic fields induced by the currents through other conductors are sufficiently high, the fault current measured by the OCT will have some errors. Physical size limitations. There are some physical size limitations associated with OCTs. Temperature sensitivity. OCTs can be sensitive to temperature changes, which can affect their accuracy. Complex manufacturing process. The manufacturing process of OCTs can be complex and challenging, especially when it comes to producing long lengths of spun fibers. Cost. Due to the complex manufacturing process and the use of specialized materials, OCTs can be more expensive than conventional current transformers. Despite these limitations, OCTs are still a preferred choice for many applications due to their numerous advantages. However, it's important to consider these limitations when deciding whether to use an OCT in a specific application. Optical current transformers OCTs and current transformers CTs are both used to measure current, but they operate on different principles and have different characteristics. If we talk about principle of operation, a current transformer CT operates via the principle of electromagnetic induction. In a CT, a changing current in one coil induces an electromotive force EMF in another coil by varying the magnetic flux. While an optical current transformer OCT uses light to measure current. It uses a light-emitting diode LED and a photodetector to detect magnetic flux changes. If we talk about output of both. CTs reduce high voltage currents to a much lower value and provide a convenient way of safely monitoring the actual electrical current flowing in an AC transmission line using a standard ammeter. While an OCTs can have a digital output according to the IEC 61850 standard. If we talk about size and weight. OCTs are typically smaller and lighter than CTs, making them easier to install and handle. If we talk about accuracy. OCTs are typically more accurate than CTs and can measure current in both AC and DC applications. If we talk about electrical isolation. OCTs provide electrical isolation, which is beneficial in high voltage applications where conventional current transformers would be impractical or dangerous to use. If we talk about noise immunity. OCTs can be used in sensitive electronic applications, such as data centers, where electrical noise can interfere with sensitive equipment. If we talk about cost. Due to the complex manufacturing process and the use of specialized materials, OCTs can be more expensive than CTs. These differences make each type of transformer suitable for different applications. The choice between an OCT and a CT depends on the specific requirements of the application. At last as conclusion. A new type of current transducer is introduced known as magneto-optical current transducer. This magneto-optical current transducer eliminates many of the drawbacks of the conventional current transformers. By applying Faraday's principle this transducer provides an easier and more accurate way of current measurements. 
This MOCT is widely used in power systems and substations nowadays.